Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, today guys, I'm actually gonna be addressing something that we finally learned about our cars. Uh, I'm enjoying the weather outside today. I'm actually not working on any cars, mainly because I've been uh, studying for this math placement exam that I failed multiple times. Um, it's not really failed, but I didn't get into the class that I wanted. Uh, for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you guys saw the day that I posted it. I've been studying, you know, like just hardcore for this exam, and I failed it three times, and this was the last day to take it before that semester actually started. So if I would have failed, um, you know, I would have probably had to spend an extra semester in college, which I'm not really down for, because this is like one of the few classes that I need before I can actually apply to the program that I need to be into. Anyways, that was a lot of stress and I couldn't actually complete the videos that I was intending to do. So this one was a video I was intending to do down the road, but you know what, I'll just do it now because I don't want to leave you guys without a video. Um, I've been uploading every two days for a long time now. And I don't want to mess up that streak and I don't want to let you guys down because you guys have been enjoying every, every other day uploads. Now, of course though, I'm not going back to those roots to where I upload pointless videos. This is actually a very informative video and I hope you guys just stick with me and uh, learn something if you guys have an N51 engine. So this video is pretty much for those of you guys who have an N51 engine. The way to tell is to look underneath the hood and you can actually check on the hood if it's like, you know, a Solvia, I think it was called like a Sol V or a Solvia um, engine. I'm not really sure, but the N51 apparently is an eco model. I thought there was only an N52 and an N54, but I was apparently wrong. Now the reason why I'm telling you guys this and the reason why I'm making a video on this is because there's actually a very extended warranty on people who own an N51. I don't know if you guys knew but my brother's E92 has been having all kinds of leaks, all kinds of you know mixture control errors, everything to do with a service engine light which has to do with like EVAP and all that type of stuff. It turns out that BMW has extended their warranty to 150,000 miles. 150,000 miles 15 year warranty so pretty much every single E92 is covered for another at least four years if you have an 07. So the N51s are pretty much what's covered going to be like what's going to be covered underneath the warranty uh, I don't know what years I think up to like 2009 they have n51s It's like the 128 or the 325 just check underneath your hood I'll show you guys in a little bit But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, where you can check for the n51 or not All right, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you all but I'm gonna try to focus it and show you guys how you can tell It's pretty much you got to pop open the hood on your car or you can check the VIN number of course and down here I don't know if you guys can see but it says soul live now, if yours says uh, you live or something like that, that basically means your N52. And if it says soul live, it's like right, let me see. So right there, guys, it says soul live. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So if you guys have a soul live, which is going to be N51, these are considered like the eco models. This will be considered like the eco engine, which means that there are there was some emission problems for this engine, and it's been a continuous problem for BMW. So they actually, it's not a recall, it's just an extended warranty. So if you guys are having any leaks from the engine, any hoses, any you know evap hoses, or anything to do with just evap in general that will prevent it from passing smog, BMW will cover it entirely. The diagnostic they will cover it, and the repairs they will cover it all for free because it's under their uh, soul live warranty. I'll try to see if I can show you guys like a diagram or uh, something I'll pop out like right here or in a few minutes, I'm not sure. Pretty much any any service engine light that has to do with uh, an emissions. Now the reason why I found this a really big deal and I didn't even know about this, I'm sure a lot of people on uh, you know that own this car have no idea. When we bought this car, we didn't know we had a warranty and this warranty has been out there for a little bit. But uh, no one's made a video on it. BMW never, you know, emailed us or gave us any notification, mainly because I don't think they want to, you know, I don't think they want to pay for it. Now, BMW never actually went out of their way to, uh, you know, send everyone a letter telling everyone they have an extended warranty. It's online. If you go to BMW and you bring in your car for servicing, some people are nice and they will tell you that. But in most cases, they won't. So I don't want to drag this video any longer than it is. But you guys should go check. If your car is an N52, kind of sucks. If you guys have an N51, which is, I think, up to like 2009 or 2010, you guys probably could, if you guys have a 328 or 325, you could probably have an N51. Check it underneath the hood. And if you have an N51, then there you guys go. You guys are covered for 150,000 miles, 15 year warranty, and that's ne that's not gonna be expired for anyone because the first ever E90 came out in 2006, and that'll be at least 12 years old, not 15. So you guys are still under the warranty. Make sure you take it out of BMW. Tell them about the Soul Live warranty. It's the Eco model. Apparently the N51 is supposed to be the Eco model, like I said, and uh, those had a lot of problems. So. BMW has to cover that for free. It's under their emissions uh, statement. If you guys don't pass smog, you just bring them the paperwork, they're gonna have to fix your car to pass smog. So if you guys have some serious stuff going on with your engine bay, BMW has to fix that if it's an N51. Try to bring your guys' car in the most presentable way though, because they do have the right to you know, deny service. It is a warranty, but it's not like a warranty you paid for. So if the car looks like it's been tampered with, if the car looks like it's been in a really bad wreck, 
they're probably not gonna touch it. So, so just trying to make your car presentable, not that big of a deal. But I don't wanna extend this video any longer than it is. It's gonna be the end of that. Before I actually end it though, I do wanna shout out those of you guys who've been supporting the channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. So first guy is Eldridge Cortez. Um, he's actually sent me out the E90 LCI grills. So shout out to you, my guy. I'm gonna be definitely putting on that on the bumper once I actually put the bumper on the 335. We got Joshua Barentos, shout out to you, my guy. Charlie Speed, thank you guys so much. And Carlos Concepcion. So thank you, um, I really do appreciate you guys' support. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of new decals in the near future, so if you guys wanna support the channel, make sure you go down to the link and purchase those decals. I'm not actually making those exact decals for Hashtag BMW. I'm gonna be sending you guys, I'm gonna be sending you guys out the new designs. So just know that if you're buying the decals from today, you gotta be getting the new design of the hashtag Save BMW. So that'll mean the world. That'll mean a lot on the build. They got cars starting up. I'm just so stressed out. I'm um, just gonna be trying to afford all this, you know, all this stuff, trying to manage my car and you know my school life because college ain't cheap. I mean, for God's sake, the textbooks alone are like 200 a piece, and parking is like 200. That's life, you know? But anyways, guys, I'm hoping I brought some good news to some of you guys' day, and I'm hoping you guys to share this video and just get it out to everyone who has an N51, because you guys have the right to know this, and you guys have the right to get any EVAP or any emission things fixed by BMW because it was their problem and the gasket leasing leaking was a foreshadowed problem from BMW so they know this they know they have to cover it actually before I actually end this video so the way to actually get the service done basically go down to BMW you pay a diagnostic the diagnostic will be refunded if it comes out to be an emissions problem um, for the service engine light if you pay a diagnostic for a service engine light it has nothing to do with emissions then you will have to pay for that uh, for the diagnostic but if any of the lights on your, your car have to do with emissions, um, that they will, you have to pay the diagnostic up front, but they will refund you and fix the repairs for free on them. So I'm hoping you guys are really happy because I'm really excited. My brother's car is gonna be getting a lot of things fixed because we actually has a service engine light. We did the valve cover ourselves. We're gonna put it all back to original parts and just take it down They get it done professionally, get the warranty and everything. I just really wish my 330i was an N51. Unfortunately, it's not. It's whatever. It was like one of the only cars in 2006. Just like the only one transmission problems. Anyways, that's life. I'm gonna end this video again. I don't wanna drag it out any longer. If you guys are starting up college, smash the like button. If you guys hate college, smash the like button. If you guys enjoy the video, smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.